Good afternoon, and welcome to this week's webinar presented by Beresford Booth. My name is Per Oscarson, and I'm a member of the uh, estate planning and probate group here at the firm. And my topic today is uh, clarifying some confusion about powers of attorney and wills. And I kind of start from the, the back end of that. Uh, during the course of my practice, I've, I've had questions uh, raised about, particularly with wills, uh, can action be taken under under the terms of a will? And the issue arises because I'm being asked whether that action can be taken while the maker of the will is still alive. The, so the answer is no, because as long as the maker of the will has the necessary uh, mental capacity and has not entered into an agreement to somehow limit their ability to change their will, then they can change their will at any time so long as if there is any kind of an agreement with someone and it could be a valid agreement not to change a will but if there is such an agreement that any proposed change doesn't violate the terms of that agreement now that it may never happen that a person changes their will but otherwise they can so all the way up to the point where they uh, where they pass away then nothing can be done uh, also, you have a personal representative under a will, typically, but that person is nominated as the personal representative, but has no authority to act as the personal representative until they've been appointed by a court in the probate of the will. Contrast that with the power of attorney. Uh, two issues there. Uh, one, uh, a power of attorney can be made to be effective immediately or it can be made to be effective only upon incapacity. And so it is possible in that second case that a power of attorney never becomes effective because there may have been no point where the maker or the principal, the person granting the power, ever became incapacitated that would cause the power of attorney to become effective. So the attorney in fact has no power. The second issue there is that there is one exception to the, to the rule that an attorney in fact can only uh, act on behalf of the principal while the principal is alive. Now, if it's effective immediately, there's no issue. If it's effective upon incapacity and the principal has become incapacitated, the, the attorney in fact, the person granted the power to act, may act. But they normally cannot act after the principal has died. There is an exception to that rule. And that exception is that if the attorney in fact does not actually know that the principal has died and they act in good faith, they can take action that will bind the principal's estate uh, going forward. So again, with the will, the personal representative, if they get appointed, can act after the death of the maker of the will. With the power of attorney, everything would have to be done prior to the death of the principal, assuming again that the attorney in fact does not have knowledge, actual knowledge that the principal has died. I hope that helps clarify some confusion that has, has come up over the years. Uh, that concludes my short presentation for today. Uh, next week, a member of our Family Law and Assisted Reproductive Technology Group will, present, will be presenting a webinar. Thank you, and have a great day.